I get there. Ah, oh, it just says take a boat to Resilia. Damn it. Alright, we gotta... I know which one it looks like, though. At least we can speed it up. Just take a boat. It's probably, you know what? You know what? It's probably the last one. What the hell? Is that, no, is that my, like, current location? I guess that is my current location. Alright. Oh, I think I did it. Did I do it? I did do it. Sweet. All these fucking things. Damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. Bye, bye, bye. Get back. Oh, that's good. I didn't waste any potions. Okay. This place... I feel like I saw the mark around this inn. Okay, then let's take a look around. What did I see again? Hmm. Oh, wait, I saw the emblem and the stone tablet somewhere in this inn. Alright, let's check out every nook and cranny of this inn. Oh. This is it, the flag that I saw. Wait, something's not right, this isn't it. I know this is the f where I saw the emblem, but this flag, it's different than the one I saw before. I think it bears resemblance, though. It certainly does look similar to the mark on the stone tablet. Let's try asking about it downstairs. Let's control T Diddy for a while. The flag was hanging in the hallway? Ah, it's different from the one before. The flag on the display is a human flag from the previous one was the Resilian flag. The Huma flag and the Resilian flag? That's right, the Zerdillian flag, which would represent the entire town, was disposed of. Disposed? What do you mean? You know, a short while back, the things started to go sour between the humans and the Gajumas. I was having a bad feeling about something, then I received an official notice from Chief Iga. I started that we were to use the Huma flag from now on. But this is official business, right? If I had the flag out, then the Gajuma's customers wouldn't come here anymore. That's why I secretly placed it in the corridor like that. You don't have the resilient flag that was hanging in the hallway anymore. I heard all the flags in town were burnt. What was the resilient flag like? The flag that was passed down resilient for ages. If I remember correctly, it was some sort of emblem depicted in the center of town, uh, the center of the flag. Does it hold some kind of special meaning? 
That emblem, I don't know if this is what you mean, but it seems to be long ago people sing, used to sing like this when they were flew the Zillion flag. With the passage of time, we raise our voices of one, therein the passage, the path unfolds. Like that. Those people back from would probably turn their turn in their graves if they knew the flags were burned. To think our only clue was set ablaze. Hmm, it still says they were all burned. Maybe one around here that's still around. Um, let's try to find it. With the passage of time, we raise our voices as one, if therein, in path and folds. The people from long ago used to sing like that when they raised the flag, right? Mm. I'm sure that everyone wanted to build a town that was free from conflict. I wonder if there's actually a flag left that hasn't been burned yet. We have little choice but to search. Let's try asking the townspeople. Talking to old lady in nearby house, okay. The Brazilian flag, you said it used to be one in this house, but Chief Fagma's messenger came and took it with him. So there aren't any left after all. Might I ask you to intend to do with the Resilient Flag? We are investigating the emblem itself that is depicted on it, but we cannot find the actual flag itself. So that's it. So if you would like, I would talk of the folklore surrounding that emblem. By all means, please tell us. Very well then, I will begin my story. According to an ancient legend, it is said that the emblem represents the power of darkness. The power of darkness? Long ago in this region, it seems we were capable of something known as the power of darkness, capable of granting any wish. The Kajumas feared it as something abominable, while the humans revered it as something holy. The difference in opinion persisted and the disputes were without end. Before long, people realized that the power of darkness was the for source of all conflicts. The two tribes joined forces and submerged the power of darkness in a spring somewhere. A spring. As a, a reminder of our folly, the two races prayed that they would one day live hand in hand, so they placed a mark which symbolizes the power of darkness in the center of town's flag. With the passage of time, we raise our hand, our voices of one there, and the path unfolds. So it tells us the two races teamed up to beat Brasilia, right? Okay, for, can we just can we just hold it there for a second? Um, two races. There's cat people, goat people, bear people. How is that two races? If anything, like I think there's gorilla people too, and that other guy was like an elk, and and then there's half people. So why are like half goat people able to like th their bone structure isn't even similar i don't even understand how that's possible i mean but it's it's just an rpg but still i, I don't get how it's two races it should really should be like seven or something that is what i believe do you know where the spring of power of darkness is submerged in oh i don't know even if it truly exists i'm not sure whether or not the power of darkness is something that should be touched The power of darkness, huh? It appears that's some sort of connection to the power of the saints. On one hand, it's something that's holy. On the other hand, it's something abominable. I wonder what the deal is. It sounds like we're going to have to ask the leaders of each group about that. Ah, oh, folklore is cunning the power of darkness, huh? A long time ago, uh, I heard a ton of stories from Grandma and Grandpa, too. Wow! What kind of stories were they? I'd love to hear some of those. Already then? Listen closely. But there's a whole bunch of them, you know? I'll tell you later when the timing's a whole better, okay? Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait! I wonder if the power of darkness is the power of the saints. 
The humus worship as something holy while the Kajuma spirit is something abominable, right? If the power of darkness turns out to be the power of the saints, then what manner are of being are the saints? I would like to gather more information about the power of darkness. Let's try to talk asking the respective leaders of the Humas and the Gajumas about it. Is that Gahumas or something? I'm just gonna it says Gajumas, I assume that's like the romanization. Do you have some kind of business with Chief Fogma? I would like to ask Chief Fogma about the history of Resilia. I wish to meet him, if at all possible. You may pass. Only you, though, is that clear? Understood. Everyone, please wait for me out here. That guy's just jobs to stand there. Hey, he's a teddy bear. You're looking into the power of darkness, are you? <laughs> wait, he's like Yoda. You ask for, for me to tell you about the power of darkness, do you? Do you know what it is you mean to us, Kajumas? Yes, I've heard of people in this town have an abominable thing, is that the people of an ancient time submerged in a spring somewhere. And so you'd like to tell me where the spring is, am I correct? I cannot tell you that, even if I knew about it. Even if you knew? It is said that the co cooperation of humans, our forefathers, created a map detailing the location of the spring that contains the power of darkness, and that in it left behind somewhere in this land. However, nothing of that nature has been passed down in my family, and my ancestor feared that, that the map would bring misfortune and burned it. May have feared that the map... Okay, yeah, so his ancestor probably burned it. A map of the spring. It would be best if it if it never fell into the hands of a Huma. That is something that was never meant to be touched. Disturbing it would only bring disaster. Listen well, do not come in contact with it. I wanted to ask him more detail, but given the subject is, the, given the subject at hand, I, perhaps there's something in this room. Look at the flag. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, that is the emblem is that my family crested at the same time. It is also the represents the Gajumas of Azilia. Also, why are you near my bed? No. <laughs> is there some kind of oral tradition behind it? Mist of darkness, we acquire courage. Mist of of darkness we come to know love. Once our ancestors feared the abominable power of darkness and bought it bitterly to, with the humors. There was an old poem that sang to lift their spirits. I see, so there's some sort of two flowers arranged in the emblem. Do these have some sort of meaning? The sunflower represents courage and the daffodil represents love in the language of flowers. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like... Like, uh, yeah, like, uh, daffodils, love, roses, like, conflict, sunflowers, courage. I actually know some of these. I don't remember them at all, though. I just remember those three. If you want, you may take one of those flags with you. Ah, thank you very much. You received the Gajuma flag. And that's what he told me. It sounds like there's a map somewhere that reveals where the spring is. I'd like to try to ask the, the leader of the humans about this as well. To amidst the darkness, we acquire chariots. To amidst the darkness, we know love. The poem that goes along with the Gajuma emblem, huh? The sunflowers depicted in the emblem appears to represent courage and the daffodil love, but uh, a poem without interpretation isn't terribly helpful, is it? The map that shows the location of the power of darkness was created as a joint effort between the two races, right? Hmm, if that's the case, shouldn't one of them have the map? Hmm. They could both have it, and they could be agreed to place it in safekeeping. Perhaps they trusted entire, entirely, entirety, entirely to a third party. Surprising, if everyone knew about it all, it makes you wonder if they're playing dumb and how to get to the spring. Hmm. 
闇の力についてもっと情報が欲しいガジマとヒューマそれぞれの属性に話を聞いてみよう This is not on the list Apparently if you stay at the inn you can have more skits Damn it Oh I'm pressing the one buttons Damn it Hmm. Okay, apparently that was a lie. 